Okay. Next day. Uh, shellac has pretty much all dissolved. Does have a bit of the residue on the back. I kind of just shook it around. Kind of dissolves there. So we'll start doing, maybe I'll start with some of the small pieces. I'd like to try the stuff that we uh, used the baking soda on just to see how that comes out. I'll see if we we'll get a few coats on. I'm just going to use brush um, on mine. You can use a rag to put it on as well. I will try a brush and see how we go. But basically you get everything outside of the tree done. So we'll get this done and these done hopefully. See how many coats we get on and see how far this goes. Um, again that's only 250 mils in the jar there with about 65 ish, 63 grams of shellac for any dinner. But yeah, we'll get into it and uh, see what some of these small pieces look like and uh, move on to the big guy and uh, see what we get by the end of the day. Okay, so that's what that piece looks like so far. The baking soda ones aren't coming up too bad. That green's kind of fading to the back. Um, but no, color wise, I think it's coming out quite nice. We've just got the actual chair part to do, so I'll start on that and get a coat on that. And uh, let that dry for a little bit and then put another one on. Each time effectively when you put another coat on it kind of, but that kind of melts it almost so that each one blends in so you can kind of get those imperfections out if you did get any so it's quite a bit of stuff to work with so yeah still a lot of cuts coats to go so get this one done let it dry I'll keep on putting coats on and see what it looks like by the end of the day
Okay. Uh, is everything with its first coat? Anyhow, the upper has come out a lot lighter compared to our legs. Different parts of the tree, I guess. Maybe. But this it helps with those new pieces. I mean, here's our new piece here. It's almost looking older and darker than the, the actual original stuff. So that's the thing with the natural shellac. Um, you can get shellac now that is more uh, toned or yeah has a even stain through it uh, which keeps the color even um, the original stuff kind of uh, made for a bit more diversity in the color of the wood through the wood <coughs> so I mean it helps us this one uh, with all its different colors and so on so Yeah, we keep on with the coats and we'll have a look at what it looks like at the end of the day. Okay, here's the next morning. I managed to get three coats on um, before I ran out. Uh, came out pretty good. Um, I wanted to do a bit more. Um, yeah, no, it's looking good. Uh, here's the other pieces. I say it's quite a bit of color variation I think just because of the different types of wood. I think it all clicks together once it's all back. And that, but yeah, I mixed up another 250 mils last night. Um, and I'm going to just use all that up. So hopefully it puts on another five coats on to this and the other parts. Um, and then I'll be pretty happy with that. Maybe like 10 coats, which I'm sure is way more than I had before. I might as well put that mini on and to uh, help it last a little longer, hopefully. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. I'll put, once it dries, I'll start putting some of the metal parts that can go back on, which is basically just this adjuster that goes underneath. That guy there. Um, actually, I can put the wheels, yeah, I can put all this other stuff back on to the legs. And that. Uh, yeah, and then I think once I tie that up I think that'll pretty much be my day on this one and the episode and then I think my last episode will be uh, working on the steam box and uh, getting everything uh, ready for that and see if we can uh, bend a piece picked up the steam bender oh not steam bender the uh, steamer uh, a few days ago I uh, just don't open box when I bought off eBay to keep the cost down. Um, yeah, I'm almost there. It's actually coming together quite nicely. I'm quite happy with it. So, okay, so I ended up yep. getting nine coats on overall over the half a litre of shellac that I made up from yesterday to today in total. Uh, nine coats, and I think I'm good with that. That's a lot more than I ever had, and it turned out, I think, pretty awesome. It's a lot harder to tell the new from the old a lot more now. Um, and I noticed the little green tinges we had in that uh, the new oak that I'd aged with the baking soda has started to darken off and it looks like it probably will continue to do that over time. So I don't think I'd be too worried about that. I mean, this is a lot more green as is the foot piece um, we made. Um, they had a lot more green, you kind of pick it out, but it is graying off. Um, even to the point it's very hard to tell in between these two the, um, this is the old guy and this is the new one we made the color is actually coming together pretty well um, the seat is a little bit different maybe that's because it's ply or whatever um, but again though if you look at that to the top the color is is very similar so it blends in there but no I'm real happy with that that came out real well uh, so yeah I think I'm gonna let that dry there's the legs as well down there came out really nice as well um, no I'll let that dry overnight I think let all those coats uh, 
dry right down. Um, and that might be it, I think, for this session. I'll come back and uh, we'll work on the steam box and trying to bend that piece. That'll be a fairly intense. Uh, so maybe I'll do that tomorrow as uh, start making the uh, mold up. We've got to make the jig up for the uh, uh, to bend the actual wood around. So the old piece there. Um, maybe I'll tinker around with that tomorrow and we'll uh, see if I can uh, maybe just cut a piece out of a bit of uh, plywood, maybe a uh, three quarter inch, just so I can, when we have to bend it and wrap it around, it'll make it easier. Rather than just using pegs or screws, I'll, uh, I'll cut a piece of uh, plywood out and we'll use that to bend around. And that's, uh, maybe I'll start that tomorrow and get that ready. Um, yeah, then last episode we'll uh, get into the steam bending and all that, see if we can actually pull it off. Because that's the last, that's probably the hardest piece, or is the hardest piece, and the last piece to make for this uh, chair. But yeah, at least we've got enough pieces to work off. I've still got the tray down here, and that it still has kind of the shape of it as well. Um, and then this piece here that the chair is sitting on screws in between to give us our width so I should be hopefully to be able to work that out somewhat easy but yeah I'll leave that for tomorrow leave this dry again very awesome very happy how that turned out and then again that's nine coats there it does dry fairly quick um, I say each time you brush it on it melts into the other layer so it forms quite a hard shell over it there so no no very good okay catch you tomorrow okay so i did manage to cut out our template here to bend our bit of uh oak here i ran that through the uh table saw and we cut it down i left a little bit thicker just so i can sand clean it up um, so I think next time we come back here tomorrow I'll start cutting in this uh, this groove I've kind of marked it out here um, maybe I'll do it with the uh, skill saw I think I'll do that first and then we'll just try and clean it up from there and that and then we'll sand it and then yeah We'll start um, making that sting box but that's for tomorrow so yeah we'll come back let's say we made this to uh, wrap our wood around bend it I'll secure it to another piece of wood because uh, I'll have to put some pegs in here just to hold these pieces obviously from bending out and so on and that uh, yeah let's see how we go with that you know that's it for now and we'll catch you. Thank you.